Uh, my name is Jamie Jackson. I'm creative director at Freestyle Games. For DJ One, getting the music license was quite difficult. It was a challenge to start off with because you know, we were going to these guys that had previously been approached by games companies to either license a track for uh, just a standard game or for Guitar Hero, which is an interactive music game. You know, it's like, oh, can we have that track? We're going to put guitar in, play it. Yeah, okay, we can do that. We're going, right, we want that track and we want that track and then we're going to make our own track and then we're going to let people play it. So it was definitely a challenge. Um, we got there. I think the, you know, the soundtrack in DJ One was pretty incredible considering the time frame and the challenges we did have. Then the success of DJ certainly showed you know, a wider range of artists or a broader range of labels to say actually this is, this is a pretty cool, cool, cool game, it's a cool way of getting our music out there and these guys aren't, they know what they're doing, you know, they've got good music chops, they, you know, they, can, they can make pretty good mixes. New stuff in DJ Hero 2 from a gameplay point of view, um, we didn't want to kind of offer too much new notes that you had to hit, so we've got a held note um, which just allows us to play a nice effect out through some of those tracks. Um, We've also looking at held uh, scratch, so you just hold the button down and do a long scratch, and again that ties to a sort of slower sound on the scratch. But then the freestyle side of things, so you've got the freestyle sample improvements, you've got the effect style improvements, you've got the new additions of freestyle scratch, so it's hold down the green button or the blue depending on which sample it's on and then just scratch, or you've got the crossfade as well, so that's basically we're playing both tracks, if you leave the crossfader in the middle it'll play both, but you can cut one or two out just at your own leisure. But all the vocals are marked up in DJ Hero 2. Um, you know, we, we got the mic in there in one, and as you say, it, it wasn't marked up. So this one, it was all about marking it up and having a scoring element to it so that we could bring three people together to play the game. I mean, our big focus for DJ 2 has been making sure people play it together as a group. And you know, sometimes that might be online, but hopefully it will be together in their living room. So. The tracks have been crafted with two turntables in mind, they've also been crafted with a microphone in mind. So the vocals, yeah, some will be cut up and we won't mark those up because they're asking you to kind of try and wrap a scratch or something like that is a bit too much, but a lot of the music, again, because we've got a lot of popular music in there, pop music, R&B music, whatever, there's some good vocals, so we've marked them all up just like you'd see in Guitar Hero. The way we're presenting the music in, in DJ2 is, is quite similar to DJ1. You know, a good 70% of the mixes will be unlocked from the beginning. We're actually doing away with set lists, so you don't actually play through predefined set lists. You actually can just pick any tracks you want, so you'll just have a, a big list of tracks and you can go through and pick those in your kind of quick play or your head-to-head -head modes. But then in Empire mode, which is our career mode, where we kind of put you on the path of an up-and-coming DJ and you start out in a small club and end up in a big club, what we've done is the, the, the tracks that we're allowing you to unlock are kind of connected to the DJs that feature through that. So if there's a DJ in that that's quite an electro or a techno style DJ or a dance style DJ like Dead Mouse for example, you'll play his style of music as you play him through Empire Mode. But then as you go to another club and it opens with another celebrity DJ, if they're a hip hop inspired DJ, you know, that first few tracks will be hip hop inspired. But that kind of all blends into the story of that mode, so it's kind of, it feels a much more kind of real thing to do. So I'm Jamie Jackson, Creative Director of Freestyle Games. This has been DJ Hero 2, which will be out in the fall on PlayStation 3, 360 and the Wii.